Hello everybody, this is Gina Bear, reporting to you for duty, and today I'm going to do a sort of Q&A slash frequently asked questions video on my channel because I keep getting a lot of the same questions over and over again because it seems a lot of you guys are super interested in teaching English in Japan or Korea. Let's get started! Yes. Hello! <laughs> Aaron's trolling on my videos! He won't let me film! The number one frequently most asked question I get on my channel is what are your qualifications? I have a bachelor's degree in English. I also have a minor in TESOL, which is teaching English to speakers of other languages. I also hold a TEFL certificate, which is teaching English as a foreign language. So, yeah! Now the secret's out. Now you guys know what my qualifications are. I also keep getting asked what do you need to teach in Korea? Well, that's a really broad question and a really broad topic, but what I can tell you is you need a bachelor's degree in any subject. It could be, you know, math, science, English, whatever. And you also need to have a TEFL certificate, which you can complete online nowadays. A lot of the recruiters for public school are now taking people that have a degree in education. This doesn't mean that, you know, it's completely ruled out. You can work at a hog one, you can still work at public school. But I have a bit of an edge up because I do have an English degree and I do have experience especially after having taught in Japan for three years so don't feel discouraged any bachelor's degree is still okay as long as you have a TEFL certificate with it and I mean maybe do some volunteer teaching so you can be like yeah I did this volunteer work so I can teach a bit on the application you need to have an Apostled diploma and an Apostled FBI check. You need to have your transcripts, letters of recommendation. There's a wonderful website, a wonderful recruiting site that I went through. I went through Corvia, so you can check them out. I'll leave a link in the description box below so you guys can check out Corvia's website. The recruiters are super nice and super friendly. They answer all of the questions. They helped me and they can help you too. Another frequently asked question that I get is, do you need to speak Korean to teach English in Korea? And the answer is no, you do absolutely don't. It would definitely help to study Korean before you come over so that way you can read Hangul and you can understand you know simple phrases day to day but other than that you don't need it to teach English. I mean I'm learning Korean too because it just makes my life easy and the more you know the better it is for you. A lot of people also ask where are you from? Well the answer is to all you sexy people out there I am from Chicago! Holla! Where are all my Chicago people? I come from the Windy City, the only Windy City, up by that Lake Michigan, which is cold all year long. Doesn't matter if it's 100 degrees in the summer, that water will still be 40 degrees Fahrenheit. Someone asked me to give them advice on home, job seeking, and speaking fluent Korean, and the answer is if you want to go into a field that's not teaching English, then yes, you need to speak fluent Korean. The best way that I've seen a lot of professionals who come over to Korea who are not in the teaching field apply first in their home country. And then once they have the job secured, then they come over to Korea and then they do, you know, the apartment hunting and stuff like that. If this is something you're interested in, then I can definitely ask around and get back to you guys on it. The last question that I keep getting is how did your family react when you went overseas? I have a big family, okay? I am one of four siblings, so I have one brother and two sisters, so there's four of us in total. Ever since I was young, everybody knew that my dream was to go to Japan, to live in Japan, to work in Japan, and experience Japan for everything that it really was. And my mom knew about it, and so did my family, but my dad was kind of, you know, in denial. He didn't think that I was serious and would go through with it. So my senior year of college, I applied for the JET program and I was accepted in and on my dad's side, he was a bit shocked at first because he didn't think that I would actually do it. But in time, you know, he came around and he was really happy for me and he felt really proud that he gave me the tools to go forth and follow my dreams. So thanks dad and thanks mom. Without your love and support, I wouldn't be here today and it means the world to me. So if you're watching this video, mwah, I love you guys. As far as my siblings, my brother was really excited because he's like, yay, now I can go visit you in Japan because he's always liked Japan too. And my siblings also felt the same because we all 
we know we're into that otaku stuff, watching anime, reading manga. So we were all interested in Japan from a young age, mostly my younger sisters because me and my brother were into it, so you know, it kind of passes down the line. They were also really excited for it. My mom was really excited for me because she was excited for me to have a new adventure and since moving overseas, it has definitely strengthened the bonds between my mother and I. And then when I came home from Japan for a month after I finished my tenure, I told them that I was moving to Korea like, while I was still in Japan, but then when I told them that, they were like, again? When are you gonna come home? All in all, they're pretty happy for me that I'm here and living my dreams and experiencing so many new and different things, but also at the same time, they miss me, and of course they want me to come home. They want me to be there with them, and I'm overseas, but I wouldn't trade this life for the world, and they are happy for me. So I guess that's everything in a nutshell. Anyway, uh, that's it for my Q&A slash frequently asked questions video today. If you like this video and you'd like to see more videos, please subscribe to my YouTube channel down below. Please give me a like on Facebook, follow me on Instagram and Twitter. And if you have any more questions, I will be more than happy to respond. Just leave them in the comment box below. I always get back. Gina Bear, signing out.